What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is Alex over here MTV Alex and today I got my e-bike behind me. The reason because of that is that I want to change the rear through axle so that I can tow with it. Before I do that, please go ahead and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Turn, subscribe, turn the notification bell on so you don't miss any future content. And if you want to support the channel, there's a link down in the description. Other than that, let's get this party started. So uh, many of you seen when I tow my uh, kids trailer on my blue Axum uh, a few months ago and uh, I showed you how to set it up and everything however that was kind of easy because I had a quick release on it whenever you have a quick release at the rear or a bolt on just a regular nut stud axle you can easily hook up the adapter for the trailer and the adapter looks something like this so basically this right here hooks up to the axle you put the knot or the quick release on top of it like this and then you can hook up the trailer right here however on my polygon Cisco t8 and my e-bike i don't have that i just have a through axle so i can't do that so i researched and uh, i came up across this burley axle adapter and this is specific to fit my bike. I know it can fit many other bikes as well. But this is the one that I got for my bike. And what it does, it kind of replaces the axle that you have and adds this place right here so that you can actually put your adapter right there and then tighten it up. Yes, it will not look as clean, as good as before, but for the purpose, I think this will do the trick. Now, this is not so cheap. I pay a little over $50 for it on Amazon. You can find them on eBay or straight on their website. I see if I can leave a, an affiliate link down below. And uh, let's go ahead and change this up real quick. And this is a 12 millimeter through aux axle for the rear. It does have some grease, that's good. So now, I'm on a different scenario because it took a few weeks. This is the shaft that I'm gonna be using. It's a Burley. It's a M12 by 1.5 and it's 142 to 148 millimeter through axle. And it comes with a spacer, and I'm guessing this spacer is whether if you have a 142, you use the spacer. If you have a 148, no spacer. So all we gotta do now is put it back on the bike with the wheel on it. But before I do that, I'm just gonna put a little bit of lube right here. Everything's better with lube. A little bit of lube on the treads, treads so they don't seize up. And this is the original axle. And it says right here the same, almost the same numeration, numerations, right there. Clutch off is going to make your life easier when you're putting your wheel back on, if you have a clutch. If you don't, then don't even worry about that. Just pull the derailleur out. Go so nice and easy. Just put the chain on the first cog. Now this side is gonna be a little bit different. Let me show you. So what you wanna do right here is actually tighten this up. Or you can also do it with the Allen head. I think it's a five millimeter. It's not a six, so it must be a five. Let's tighten it up. Two specs, I have a torque wrench, so. I just do that and that's it now you can just put your adapter for your trailer right here your kids trailer and you are good to go it looks kind of ugly but that's okay now how are you gonna put it on you're gonna have to actually hold this right here 
and then I think that looks like an 11 16 that's when you start tighten this up but you want to make sure you hold back this one because otherwise was if you don't hold it and you start tightening up the nut that's gonna hold the trailer in place what's gonna happen is that uh, the actual axle is gonna try to keep turning and it's eventually gonna either strip break or just get stuck and you don't want that so that's why it's gonna be very important whenever you put in your tool right here or your adapter to back hold it and then you should have no problems now this is a lock locking nut so you should you don't have to go all the way in because it's not gonna come out anyway but just in case just try it in a little bit so this stud the remainder of the stud is not holding too much out you don't want to hurt yourself and then you should be done now this is kind of like an expensive way to uh, haul a bike because that axle itself it was close to 50 60 dollars but I think it's gonna be worth it, uh, especially because whenever, I, I don't know if you've seen me, but every time I pull my trailer, I pull my two girls and my oldest girl bike on it because she gets too tired, and that thing can get pretty heavy. Now, if you're wondering why I'm in a different scenario, it's because the first attempt to put this on, I had the wrong axle. So I did a little bit of research online and I went with the first answer, so, that was my fault, and this is my experience to you. Always check, double check your resources. If it's possible, I didn't even took the, the when I first bought it, I didn't even took the original axle out. And if I would have have, I would have had all the information that I needed to put right there. 1.5, the previous one that I bought was a 1.0. So the tread was much finer than this. So that's why the original did not work. I could have, I think at the end it worked on my on my uh, on good on my end because when I returned it I was able to get the other one on a discount because it was on Amazon. It said lower price since I don't know 30 days, so it kind of worked in my favor. But it just was a wait and a waste of time. So other than that, I hope that you liked this video. If you did, please go ahead and consider subscribing and turning the notification bell on. Also hit the like button. If you want to support the channel, link down in the descriptions. Other than that. That is it for this one guys, and I'll see you on the trails. Goodbye.